They will fear the wild. Oh my god, I just obliterated that guy. Alright, what is up, what is going on guys? It's your boy Chumbles and I'm back, and this time we are playing some Bruiser Shivana in the top lane. Now, I don't know if this is going to be any good. I haven't played Bruiser Shivana in seasons, because it just wasn't good anymore. So we'll, uh, we'll have to see... I do think, um, once I get an item or two, maybe, maybe I, uh, can do something. Ooh, rip. But yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, oh man. Come on, bro. So yeah, the items will be like um kind of interesting the the items that i've seen people go is not what you'd probably think it's actually a kraken slayer plus blade of the rune king combo and after that you go for some tank items so it's pretty interesting how that, that works because it just doesn't sound very good but uh yeah it works i guess since people have been doing it we still max our e of course and then we'll max our q since uh we do have press attack which by the way your twin bite does activate as two so it's actually very fast to stack up. If you just run away from him there, we just lose. So I turned on him because I had a bunch of minions. So wasn't actually that horrible with trade there. Also, this is ranked, by the way. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how our team does. <laughs> I think I can just auto him down a bit. Yep. Look at that. So we've actually bullied him out of lane so far. Oh, and that hit too. Nice. Fortunately, Draven's... Okay. Nice. That's a huge solo kill. Considering... Bruiser Shivana does not play the same as regular, like, AP Shivana where it's actually much easier to pick up kills and whatnot. wonder if I can... Oh, wait. This guy's got hella move speed. Jesus. Uh... Well, <laughs> we got ulti, so we're just going to ulti out of there. That was a little too spooky for my taste. Throw a fireball, and we are going to pick up the health pot there. A little more extra sustain. Can we actually... Come down for the drag and then TP top lane. I think we can. Okay, or not. Killed one of them. I think we should have just went for the drag. Darn. If I actually had ulti, he was dead, but... I, uh, also would have been dead if I didn't use it, top lane. So let's keep using our W here to get the, the move speed going. Um... 
I don't think Draven's free. <laughs> He's not six yet. The Hecarim, that is. Wow, it's not enough damage, huh? But yeah, I think grabbing the early tabbies is the correct play because we are against a Warwick as well. I don't really need to worry too much about um I need to worry too much about the uh the Malzahar here. It's pretty much just everybody else. Ah, uh, use it as soon as I use D. Would have been a nice little chunk of damage on him. So yeah, the game plan is basically just survive early, get to your two items, and then afterwards you can... Or at least it seems like you can just kind of mess people up a little. Uh, somebody coming top, or... Is he just pinging for me to leave? See there. We got, uh... I don't think he's... yeah. Oh man. I think I'm dead, maybe? Yeah, because of that. Oh, maybe not. Okay, nice. I do have TP, so I'll just TP back. It's fine. So I'll pick that up, we're gonna TP back. The HP is kind of whatever, since I do have lifesteal now. Just got messed up by that, damn. If we can pick up drags, that would be absolutely massive. I did try to go down for the drag play earlier, because dragons do buff your armor and MR. So if I got that stacked early on Shivana, that would have been completely nuts so yeah, as you can see our poke is definitely a lot less but our fighting potential is definitely a lot higher so it's definitely a different play style for sure also I'm just gonna sit on the lifesteal and I'll go into Kraken fully I just think the life seal is gonna help us just sustain in lane. Uh, Kraken Slayer. So yeah, we'll grab this as our actual first item. Try to keep poking him though. It does add up? I mean, it doesn't add up too much, but if you get like ten of them. <laughs> <laughs> it'll uh, it'll add up a little, you know. Then after that, I can I can go in. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well. Interesting. If you want to die, I'll take it. You too. Goodbye. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Should say. I'm not gonna lie. I am so tanky, just with one drag. A hundred armor? Now again, my my damage is is definitely weaker right now. But 
I'm definitely not playing for the uh, for the early game here, but I am ahead, and it's already the early game. So if we can push this lead into into the mid game, I do think we're gonna be a problem for them. So this is uh, this is interesting. Also, here's the runes, but the runes and the uh, build will be at the end since this is a uh, definitely a different uh, kind of Shivana than you're probably used to. So press the attack, triumph, alacrity, coop, taste of blood, and ravenous for survivability in lane. And uh, you know, Draven is ultra fed here. Oh, that was a huge ulti though. And it's just not enough. Vayne's just not not strong enough. Oh no. That's just that's just not. Oh, how does that miss? I don't know where the Warwick is. He was top. So. Why is he so fast? What? He has more move speed than I do. And I have tier 2 boots. Need to start autoing. Again, try to use the vamp. Oh no. Just a disaster. We're up in CS though. Um, that just insta kills it? That's so stupid. Wow, that's hilariously broken. Honestly, I think our only chance is going for these drags. And I'm gonna head down. Because, yeah. This is not looking good. For our team. For us. <laughs> for everything. Oh no, Malphite doesn't even have ulti. Okay, Draven used heal. That's that's good. Keep using W to get there. Oh my. Okay, at least the nearly uh, popping off. It's good. Some good stuff. He's dead. Okay. You know what? That was actually really good. Good work, team. How much armor do I have now? 108. Not too shabby. If you get conditioning, by the way, instead of um, these secondary, which I will talk about in the runes later, it's, uh, it stacks up pretty hard. Hello. Hello, Mr. Got. Alright, let's just... We gotta... We got a limit test, right? Wow, I actually do a lot of damage. Granted, we got help. That's... We still did a lot of damage. So when you're fighting top lane, this is the part where it's actually very strong. When you're fighting top lane with Shivana, just in general, especially AD though, uh, just because you have more survivability. You... You want to fight on your E. Because the E has the secondary effect, which... Um, I'm trying to read it for you guys. Right here. Uh, the second part dragon form. Dealing so-and-so magic damager AD. And scorching the earth dealing 484. 
so that's pretty nutty um, I think we just have to give this up or just ends into them I guess that works Let's see if we can Nice. Okay. No idea where the other ones went. Let's go ahead and clear this. Oh, there he is. Free kill for Vayne. Nice. Shot down, too. Huge. But yeah, the uh, the press the attack plus the <laughs> Kraken is so nutty because it's doing true damage. Oh my god, my E didn't time out. Oh my god, are you serious? Nice. Alright, can we help? Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. He's dead, right? Yeah. Ooh, I'm a little scared of the Warwick coming in here. FTP. TP in. I'm not gonna stay with half HP too risky. I'd rather use my TP to secure the drag. Like, if they all came here, it would be pretty risky. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna risk it. What the heck? Just this is up, huh? So, yeah. That was my uh, thought process there. The drag is way too important to give up. to Or to maybe lose. I'll leave these for Hecram. Yeah, once I have Blade, I'll, ha I'll be doing uh, percent health, true damage, and then the bonus damage with Pressy Attack. So I can definitely see how this build works. And because of your Q, applying multiple stacks at once. Yeah. Hmm. It's definitely slow early. Like that's for sure. It's it's definitely slow early. You you really need your items because you don't do anything uh, otherwise. You literally just don't have damage. But at the same time, once you get to your to your items here, I can definitely see why this would be really good. There's not too many champions that can apply multiple stacks that also work well together. Like, there might be some champions that can do this, but can they do it well is the question. Because if they can't, then it's like, what's even the point? Okay, we uh, see everybody on the map here, so I'm going to push this in. I think our mid's all dead. don't know why we're so... We're so aggressive on getting that. Oh, that's this guy's TP. I thought Ergot would have TP'd. I would turn on him, but cow's somewhere here. If I get hit with some CC, that'd be unfortunate. I think I just kill this guy. Oh my god, I just obliterated that guy. <laughs> and I don't even have blade yet. Oh no, Draven's still up.
Yeah, I didn't even have Blade yet, and I just completely crushed the Malzahar. Yeah, as you can see, the E doesn't do crazy damage. But it does a lot if you actually fight on it, or fight them after you use it. We're just trying to farm up, get as strong as we can for this drag. We'll play around getting this. And uh, we'll be okay, I think. So I'm going to go for gargoyles next. That way I can go in, I can gargoyle. That way I, uh, I don't get just completely destroyed. It also gives 60 armor and 60 magic resist and ability haste, which is good because we don't have any. So we get the tankiness and we will uh, have that nice shield for ourselves. We have blade now, plus we have kraken. We have some armor, so I'm a lot less worried. Also, we just won the fight right before drag. As long as they don't die, that's just free drag. And that probably seals the deal. Um, look at this pushing power. Good god. I don't even have like a, a sheen item or anything. We're just a sheen. <laughs> Usually those are the ones that just completely crush towers. I'm running to the drag. This is gonna be bad, I can already tell. I'm running straight to dragon. I am not losing this. Always play for the macro, boys. There we go. Perfect. Now if we want to throw and fight, then sure. Although that wouldn't be the, the best idea because Baron's up. But I'm just saying. <laughs> if we want to if we wanted to do that, we'll do it now rather than later. Because uh, now we have the drag. We have secured the mission. Oh, it's not long enough, huh? Are they on it? We don't have any blue trinket. Oh, we do. Just didn't use it. Ward that. So, this is probably warded. Oh man. Oh, please. Nuts. Darn. I didn't even realize the second wave was that close. Yeah, we probably destroy the Baron, honestly. My E, plus uh, the items we have. What does she have? Yeah, she has Kraken as well. So we're doing a lot of true damage this thing. Okay. Just need to hit anything. There we go. Dude, I am s way too tanky. Like, dude, this build is sick. 
All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Again, stay tuned for the runes and full build. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like button. This is really fun. Again, this was a ranked game, so everybody was kind of tryharding. Um, but yeah, this was, this was really fun. So thanks for watching, and have a great day. Peace. All right, guys, and now for the items. So we have the two boots. Basically the only two that you'll go for this build. You really need to get tanky. Then you have the two core items, Kraken Slayer and Blade of the Rune King. So as we saw, easy to proc both of them because of our Q, uh, which is why you want to max that second. And then into Gargoyles gives you both uh, both resistances plus ability haste, which is great. And then the massive shield, um, which is obviously great as well. And then you have the uh, extra bonus so the five percent armor and the five percent magic resist for six seconds which is amazing so really strong item now after this is where you can actually start to decide uh your play style and what you need for specific games so you're going to want these items here and then afterwards all these are optional so i just put what i thought are kind of the stronger ones that you may generally use uh Sterax I don't think has the same unbreakable and right okay no so I just wanted to make sure because that'd be bad uh St <laughs> Sterax is still a very good item it did get nerfed I believe a little bit but still very 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 strong um a really solid item especially if you're going into the fights and you're trying to fight a bunch of people you're gonna get a bunch of sterax stacks before it actually procs and you can actually pro like once it procs and you're low health you can actually proc your gargoyles after that and then you have two massive shields and extremely hard to kill you because you also have uh some life steal that you'll be getting back from hitting the enemies so yeah very uh very good item now you also have titanic hydra which is a strong item as well um i would say to build this as a fifth item rather than a fourth mainly because you don't have the bonus health on anything really so it's a little weaker you're only really getting the health from the actual item rather than other items as well so in my opinion i would build that probably fifth yeah probably fifth uh and then dead man's is a very good item you put dead man's in front of sterax if you feel like it's uh it's better and you need the upfront tankiness right away also the move speed is really nice and the active on it when hitting somebody then you have all these which are all pretty much common sense you have two anti-heal ones if you need more tankiness or you need more damage uh, some more life steal, also just a solid item. Uh, Force of Nature, if they have a bunch of MR, solid item. And Randuins, if they have a bunch of armor, you could put like Dead Man's Randuins and uh, Thorn Mail as your last three items if you needed to. Um, but most of the time, the game is pretty much over by your three core items. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, move on to the runes. So. For the runes, we have two different pages. So, this page right here is standard and will not change. Press the attack, triumph, alacrity, and coop. All pretty much common sense runes. Now you have domination where the... If the matchup is harder and is more poke heavy, I would suggest this one. That way you can poke back with your E and gain some health back. In any other scenario... I would recommend you guys take the conditioning and overgrowth. So these two have two separate parts that are useful. Conditioning, the uh, effect on it is really good. Uh, after 12 minutes, you gain 9 armor and 9 magic resist. And then you have the increase. So the increase of the 5%. So, when you have items like, or, well, you have the items like, uh, like the ones we went over, the gargoyles, for example, which gives you both, you're getting both for this too. So you're getting double increase on conditioning. 
And this also goes for the dragons. So when you get the dragons and they give you those bonus stats, it also increases with your conditioning. So you basically get to like quadruple dip into this one rune, which makes it really good. Um, and again, if you're not in a matchup where you think you're going to be maybe in like a tough spot before 12 minutes, then uh, this is definitely the rune you want to get. It's just so OP on this champion because of the runes that you get and because of her passive. Then after that, Overgrowth, just keep stacking up that HP. Get super, super tanky. Uh, as you can see, we use a lot of kind of HP-ish items. And because we're going for two damage items early, the extra HP you get is actually extremely helpful. And now for the... What are these? What does this say? <laughs> I have no idea what these... Sub runes? I don't know. Um... So for this one, you're going to go for the attack speed always as your first. And then here you can go for, uh, well, usually there isn't an easy matchup. I'd say an easy matchup, you could grab the adaptive force. But typically that's not the case with this build because you're Shyvana top lane and you're AD. <laughs> so because of that, you're going to grab two flex runes with defense. So... That means you will get, say, say you're against Urgot, you can actually go armor and defense if you want, the extra HP, or you could go double armor. Uh, in my opinion, the HP is better because it will outscale, especially if you're already grabbing some armor in this, in this tier. Usually the armor is better here because you won't grab the armor up here. You, normally you're grabbing the adaptive, you're doing something like this, right? But in this case, you can actually go for armor, and then the HP. And health outscales this rune, the the 9 armor, or the 8 magic resist. So it's just better. And again, you really want HP on this champion. Uh, help you survive when you're going in. And again, it's the same thing for like if it's magic resist, you could do double, or you could even do this if you wanted to. If you had no <laughs> if you had no idea who you're against, you could actually uh, do both, which is really strong, really good. And again, this will uh, dip into your conditioning as well so always remember that so that is everything hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did please make sure to smash that like button it really does help out the videos uh, be viewed and i'm trying to put as much uh, effort into these as i can make sure uh, it's educational keeping these at the end though because i do want you guys to enjoy the gameplay before uh, and i feel like people would just get kind of bored of me rambling about the runes early so yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and my secondary channel where I post extra league content. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So athletic, I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, I just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on my feet, touch heaven. I've been head first, bitch, already won seconds. Wanna be on top, popping off like a faux faux. Life been going fast, I've been trying not to go slow. I just hit the gas, now I'm faded, going slow mo. You think you gon' pass, but you tripping, that's a no go. 